Welcome back everyone. Leading on from our previous hunting video, it was our last day on the farm. Josh got up early and hit the top paddock for meat bunnies before it got too hot in the day. He had to leave by lunchtime, so time was getting away to secure some more meat for the table. Mark and I headed down to the bottom of the hill, armed with two centerfire rifles, to see if we could clean up a few more bunnies at the farmer's request. The farmer was stoked we had cleaned up almost 20 the day before and wanted us to repeat that again today. <laughs> Obviously the pressure was on. I knew lying on the ground was going to be difficult, but the first few misses made me change things up a bit. After missing the first few shots, we had to improvise with a different shooting angle. And this is what we came up with. Yep. Shooting from the back of the truck was proving to be extremely difficult, so we opted back to shooting from the ground. Although, after that, we didn't see any more bunnies for the rest of the morning. So, I wonder how Josh is going. So, I'm hunting on the bottom hill this morning, up into this hill, which is good. Mate, mate Josh is on the other side of the hill, but it's definitely starting to warm up now. I think it's about quarter to nine and the freaking flies, man, are absolutely everywhere. They just don't seem to want to come out. I don't know what's going on. Um, got all my gear on the back of the truck, also digiscoping behind me as well. But yeah, my mate Josh is on that other side of the hill. I said, make sure you don't come this side of the hill. So make sure you stay on the other side of the hill. But yeah, we're probably gonna hit this one in the afternoon. This hill really normally produces uh, in the afternoon. Doesn't really produce in the morning. So a bit disappointing this morning shoot, but I've still got one more shoot to go before heading home in the morning. And uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. But I've got a bit of footage, so that's what's most important, isn't it? But you can see, check out this down here too, my shooting position, trying to get up onto this hill. It's not the most comfortable positions. And I don't think I might maybe even get one of those tripods to see how they go. Uh, see if I can sort of sit in a chair and clamp it in a hog saddle tripod and see if that actually works. But anyway, you can see the angle here. It is a shit angle. What can you do? You've got to work with the conditions that you got. But uh, we'll head back to camp now and probably hit it again a bit harder in the afternoon when they tend to come out a bit more. So. No, I just I went over there, over the back there. There's two Warrens that were good last night, but same as last time we were here, there was... I saw a couple, but they're just moving from blackberry bush to blackberry bush, warren to warren. They're not stopping. They're not. They're not leaving cover for very long today. And the flies are getting crazy now. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what happens with uh, hot weather hunting, eh? Yeah. Yep. It might be time to pack up and head home. We've got a couple for the dogs, so. It was time for Josh to head back home. Mark had gone back into town earlier to get some supplies, so unfortunately he didn't get to shoot with us in the morning as he'd planned. He told me to leave some bunnies for him and we were going to have a crack at one of our honey holes for the final hunt of the trip. All right, mate, looks like that's it. Thanks for the invite, mate. It was good again. We had much better weather this time. I've... Last time that snow and rain, this time weather's much nicer. It was... A hell of a lot nicer being here this time, but thanks again. I'll see you next time. How you doing, man? Mark just arrived and he had a bloody good idea of something we should do on the next shooting trip. How you going this morning? I'm just having a few problems shooting up here on the angle up on the hill. Jace got a few yesterday and a few this morning, but uh, we're just going to talk to the farmer about digging a little bench on the side of that hill. 
that angles up just a tiny bit. So you got somewhere you can have three or four guys lay down mats and everything, and it'll just just be a better angle to shoot up on the hill with. So hopefully we'll have that next time you come out, Jace. Yeah, look at these hills up here, guys. I mean, very very steep. And uh, Mark's probably got a good idea to get at the farm. I see if he can dig a place in us for us over there, just so we can get a better angle up that hill shooting those bunnies. It's uh, crazy how steep that is and uh, makes it difficult to shoot, but we've done all right. I've done all right here on the first night, man, so I can't really complain. Done all right. Yeah, we'll come down and have another crack this afternoon. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Time was getting away from us, so we ditched the plans to hunt the bottom of the hill again and decided to combat the long grass for the final hunting session. In this spot, the sun's normally in our faces and directly in line with our scopes, but Mark came up with this freaking ingenious idea to shoot from the back of the car with a ground sheet draped over the top, and it worked like a bloody charm. I decided to put the rifle down for the afternoon and just concentrate on filming Mark, and what a cracker afternoon it was. All right, guys, here we're back up the top of the hill. It is the last shoot in the afternoon, so we're probably actually gonna shoot this hill. Uh, I actually drove up on Mark. I mean, if you actually look here, he's actually got a, what was it? Like a camo blanket hanging off the back of the vehicle, and he's actually shooting from the back. Now, when I first drove, I thought, first drove up, I thought, oh, what's this idiot doing? But you know what, absolutely genius, because this place does normally produce pretty good for rabbits, but it's terrible in the afternoon because the sun is setting right in that position. It gets into your scopes, gets into your optics. Everything looks terrible. You can't see anything and it's no good. So what an absolute genius Mark is. You know, he's not normally a genius, but in this situation, I think he is. He's done a great job. So here I'm using the Delta Titanium ED2 spotting scope with the Nova Grade adapter and an iPhone. Most of it I've been filming on this um, spotting scope, but I did shoot a few on the trip uh, with the big lens yeah, as well so anyway it's been doing pretty well a lot of the footage you'll see will be on the digi scoping from the spotting scope the delta titanium ed2 but i gotta go check out this i gotta go find out what's going on here so let's go check it out see what he's doing in the back there the bunny started popping up absolutely everywhere so we had to put the jokes on hold the first rabbit was at 280 meters and mark was bang on with the 223 the first shot also produced another awesome vapor trail coming in from the right hand side of the screen. Whenever you're ready. Go when ready. How good was that one? Just came out of the grass just enough for us to get a shot on and um, smashed him. There's a few more up there, so just wait till they get out a bit and try and get a better shot on them. It was lucky that one because it was just sitting out of the um, out of the grass. We couldn't see it eh, on camera and then all of a sudden he just popped back out. It's popped out. What do you think, you got another one? Yeah, I do. Same spot. Same spot, just left about half a metre. This next one, I don't know what happened, but <laughs> he survived by the skin of his teeth.
Before we finish off, I wanted to show you some misses from the trip because they were totally awesome. It was either how close they were, vapor trails, or rabbit reactions. Right, take your time whenever you're ready, dude. Oh, fuck. There's one just below. There's another, another one just popped out, mate. Another one just popped out. Oh, no, he's gone. There's one just below it. And now he's gone too. I jumped on the 223 for a shot and I could see the rabbit. It was right in front of me. I was ready to go. Okay. That's definitely a rock is what you hit. It was very in frame with the fucking rabbit that I was looking at. It was the last shot of the trip and Mark came up with a hammer of Thor hard hitting cracker. <laughs> wow. Wow. Another hunting trip had come to an end and it was back home to work until the next trip. If you liked the video, please hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. I'd really appreciate it. I really hope you enjoyed the glimpse into our hunting weekend. Happy hunting and shooting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.